Okay, guys, we are the pagoda of the Chinsui Temple. Eh? This is the pagoda of the Chinsui Temple, Genting Highland. Genting Highlands. <laughs> okay, this Chinsui Temple, you see very a lot of uh, what do you call it? Mini caricatures or statues of uh, animals. Yeah. So let's go up and take a look at this very interesting place. Sangat sangat menarik ini adalah Tokong Chinsi ya, Tokong Chinsi. Chinsi dalam perkataan Hokkien adalah sangat cantik. Chinsi in Hokkien is very nice. Chinsi. Okay. Boleh tengok apa? What can you see up there? Okay, can you see the Buddha leh? Yeah, very big Buddha at the top. So we we'll go up. Kita akan naik atas. Kita ada teknologi moden untuk tolong kita sekarang. Kita naik pakai escalator. Orang malas. Okay. Orang rajin boleh naik pas pakai tangga. Eh. Panjat. Okay, there's a vegetarian restaurant here. There's a place for you to meditate. There's a hotel for you to meditate if you want. Yeah, this is Uncle Lim. Okay, pada siapa yang tak kenal, ini adalah Uncle Lim. Uncle Lim yang telah membangunkan Genting Highlands. Eh? Uncle Lim Gotong, who has uh, founded and uh, established Genting, Genting Highlands. So you have not read his you have not read his uh, biography go and read his biography So uh, banyak tempat telah ditutup this is a prayer room bilik sembahyang telah ditutup kerana PKPB kita uh, lihat sekeliling Okay a bit of history on uh, Chinsui Temple why did uh, Ch why was Chinsui Temple built when uh, Uncle Lim, eh? when Uncle Lim was uh, building Genting Highlands on his way up to build, one day he got lost in the jungle. Okay, when he got lost in the jungle, and there was at least I think three or four times he got lost, he got injured, he almost died when he was trying to construct Genting Highlands. So one day at this spot. When he was sleeping, he had a dream, and the dream was of this uh, Buddha. And he said, "Buddha, if you help me to build, or rather, if my dream of building uh, this Genting Highlands becomes a success, I will build a temple to honor you." So uh, he finally managed to build Genting Highlands. He didn't die. So therefore, he kept his word and he built this uh, Chinsui temple in honor of Buddha. So, yang tak faham tu, saya cakap lagi sekali dalam bahasa Malaysia. Pada satu hari, dulu-dulu uh, masa Uncle Lim Gotong eh, dia sedang naik bukit untuk membina Genting Highlands. Masa tu, tak ada jalan lagi. Dia masih hutan. So, dia kena naik jalan hutan. So ada tiga empat kali dia hampir-hampir uh, mati. Uh, banyak sebab lah tanah runtuh lah inilah itulah. So satu hari masa dia tertidur dalam hutan ni, semasa dia naik ke atas, dia ada satu mimpi, mimpi tentang Buddha. So dalam mimpi dia dia minta minta apa ni dia minta tolong Buddha. Dia kata kalau saya berjaya menaikkan uh, Genting Highland ni. Saya akan membina satu tokong atas penghargaan uh, pada Buddha lah kerana menolong dia. 
So dia berjaya untuk me membina Genting Highland maka dia pun mem membina tokong ni sebagai tanda penghargaan kepada kepada Buddha lah. So itu cerita dia lah pendek untuk kena bagaimana ataupun mengapa apa ni mengapa tokong ni telah dibina. So yang nak tahu lagi pergi baca buku Lim Gotong eh Uncle Lim Gotong biografi dia. Okey. So yang tak suka baca buku, baca buku, buku ni senang, senang untuk di, dibaca. Saya dalam satu trip naik kapal terbang saya pergi saya dah habis baca dah. Sebab dia menarik, menarik dan senang. It's a very simple and uh, short and sweet book. So during one flight I finish the whole book. So go go buy the book and uh, go read it. It's a good, uh, very good, what do you call it, exposure and a very good experience as to how Uncle Lim Gotong became uh, so rich when he built uh, Gentings. Okay, there are many stories of how he started, how he almost died in, during the Japanese occupation, uh, how he came on the boat from China to Malaysia, uh, how he escaped death during his uh, his trip on the boat, and uh, many many other things. So go read the book. All these are, uh, let me see, uh, who are they? They are all deities. Uh. All these are deities. Okay. We don't have time to go pass through every one of them. Okay, this is Journey to Enlightenment. It's a very beautiful place. Very peaceful place. Ini adalah satu tempat yang begitu aman sekali. Okay, I think I will do a separate video on this. Okay, saya akan buat uh, video berasingan untuk yang ni sebab uh, ini macam mana aku nak cakap. <laughs> this uh, this is what we call journey to enlightenment. Okay, I may not I may not put up this video so because I think I don't know. Hey, ada Starbucks kat bawah. There's a Starbucks downstairs. Okay. Uh, this has become a popular place. And the Starbucks used to be a crystal shop. My mom used to buy crystals there with me. It's been so long ago. Okay, one of the reasons why I'm hesitant to put up this Journey to Enlightenment video is because some people may, may be may put up sensitive comments which I may not like to read later. So I think I may not put up this video. I will put it up in my uh, membership area lah. Saya akan buat video ni dan saya akan letak atas uh, membership and I will put a very very strict caution. Okay, anyone who is not uh, open to Buddhism or anything don't 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 watch the video lah. The video is just to show you this place. It's not about anything else. To convince anybody of any religion or what? No, it's just to show you this beautiful place. Okay, so saya akan buat video, tapi saya akan letak dalam member uh, members area dan hanya untuk kawan-kawan yang mahu tengok keindahan tempat ni saja. Tak ada maksud lain. Bukan nak suruh masuk agama ke apa ke tak ada. Okay, so sebab sebab itu saya agak teragu-ragu sama ada nak buat video atau tidak. Uh, pasal tempat ni Tapi saya buat juga Letak dalam members area lah Harap-harap uh, Semua akan faham lah Tujuan Untuk tengok Tengok tempat ni Bukan apa-apa lagi Okay That's all Bye-bye